A reading from the book of Joel, chapter 1, verses 1 through 13. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, son of Pethuel. Hear this, O elders, give ear, all inhabitants of the land. Has such a thing happened in your days, or in the days of your ancestors? Tell your children of it, and let your children tell their children, and their children another generation. What the cutting locust left, the swarming locust has eaten. What the swarming locust left, the hopping locust has eaten. And what the hopping locust left, the destroying locust has eaten. Wake up, you drunkards, and weep. And wail, all you wine drinkers, over the sweet wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. For a nation has invaded my land, powerful and innumerable. Its teeth are lion's teeth, and it has the fangs of a lioness. It has laid waste my vines and splintered my fig trees. It has stripped off their bark and thrown it down. Their branches have turned white. Lament like a virgin dressed in sackcloth for the husband of her youth. The grain offering and the drink offering are cut off from the house of the Lord. The priests mourn, the ministers of the Lord. The fields are devastated, the ground mourns, for the grain is destroyed, the wine dries up, the oil fails. Be dismayed, you farmers, wail, you vine dressers, over the wheat and the barley, for the crops of the field are ruined. The vine withers, the fig tree droops. Pomegranate, palm, and apple, all the trees of the field are dried up. Surely joy withers away among the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord, and I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your work and muse on your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy, but God is so great as our God. You are the God who works wonders. You have displayed your might among the peoples. With your strong arm you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When, when the waters saw you, O God, when the waters saw you, they were afraid. The, the very deep trembled. The clouds pour out, poured out water. The skies thundered. Your arrows flashed on every side. The, the crash of your thunder was, was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was through the sea. Your path through the mighty waters, yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. A reading from the book of Revelations. The merchants of these wares, who gained wealth from her, will stand far off in fear of her torment, weeping and mourning aloud. Alas, alas, the great city, clothed in fine linen, in purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold, with jewels and with pearls. For in one hour all this wealth has been laid waste, and all shipmasters and seafarers, sailors, and all those trade, or whose trade is on the sea, stood far off, and cried out as they saw the smoke of her burning. What city was like the great city? And yet they threw dust on their heads as they wept and mourned, crying out, Alas, alas, the great city, where all who had ships at sea grew rich by her wealth. For in one hour she had been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O heaven, you saints and apostles and prophets, for God has given judgment for you against her. Then a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, With such violence Babylon, the great city, will be thrown down and will be found no more and the sound of harpists and minstrels and of flutists and trumpets will be heard in you no more, and an artisan of any trade will be found in you no more. 
and the sound of the millstone will be heard in you no more. And the light of a lamp will shine in you no more. And the voice of bridegroom and bride will be heard in you no more. For your merchants were the magnets of the earth, and all nations were deceived by your sorcery. And in you was found the blood of prophets and of saints, and of all who have been slaughtered on earth. A reading from Luke chapter 14, verses 12 through 24. Jesus said also to the one who had invited him, When you give a luncheon or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbors in case they might, may invite you in return and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, Invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed, because they cannot repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. One of the dinner guests, on hearing this, said to him, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus said to him, Someone gave a great dinner and invited many. At the time for the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready now. But they, all alike, began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of land, and I must go out and see it. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I am going to try them out. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have just been married, and therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, Go out at once into the streets and lanes of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. And the slave said, Sir, what you ordered has been done, and there is still room. Then the master said to the slave, Go out into the roads and lanes and compel people to come in so that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who were invited will taste my dinner. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.